Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great box opening video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today's a little bit different. Today we have our first official Patreon video. This is for uh, a patron that signed up for the channel uh, and he is currently our highest tiered patron that we have and we got a whole bunch of stuff we're going to be opening for him. Um, we're going to be doing the build a pack that I've been talking about. Uh, his random standard pack he has chosen is Dominaria. His random not standard pack that he has chosen is Invasion. And then he's got a whole bunch of Dominaria. This is for Marcus Mills, um, a.k.a. Exotic MTG. Uh, I don't know if you guys have checked out his channel, but he is another YouTuber that does some amazing videos. He opens stuff that I really wish I could open more of. Uh, they really live up to the name Exotic MTG. They open a bunch of older stuff. Um, just go check out his channel. In fact, uh, down in the description, I'll put a link to his his channel. Um, you will not be disappointed. But uh, anywho, we're going to go ahead and get this started off. Um, I think we are going to start with... Uh, we'll start with the, the Build-A-Pack. Um, and as you can see here, i got my box in front of me. This is all randomized, but just to make sure that you can see, we're going to take this. We're gonna, these are the, the rares. We're going to shuffle this up. Make sure all good and random. Make sure I can get it back in the order I had it in, because I got this lined up according to what's what. Okay, so everything has been shuffled up. So we're going to start off. We're going to start at this end of the box. So one of the things that he gets is he is going to get a uh, random land that's going to be signed. So we're going to go ahead. We'll just kind of go to the middle here, and he is getting, hey, he's getting a full art forest. Okay, so this is going to be signed by Chuck Wagon MTG and sent out with his package. Next, we're going to go to this end of the box and tell you what, we will shuffle the... Oop, if I can actually grab them. We'll go ahead and shuffle these up to... Now this, you don't have to be one of the uh, you know top tier uh, patrons to get this particular one. You can do the build a, pot, build a pack. Uh, which is the $10 tier, and it also gets you a pack of standard as well, plus the basic land, plus the foil, all that. So everything you're seeing here is actually in the, the second, third tier. The third tier, uh, this is what you get, aside from the booster box and all that stuff. That's totally different. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and grab a random basic foil, and he got an island from Kaladesh. All right. Now, let's go back to this end of the box. Now, there's going to be two random rares, so we're going to go ahead and pull, let's see, this one, and this one looks good. And then, a random uncommon or common that's worth at least 50 cents. We'll grab this one. And then, a random foil. We'll go ahead and grab that one. These are just sleeves. So then, we're going to go ahead and grab 10 out of the common uncommon spots two three four five six seven eight nine and ten once again these are all completely random so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put this off to the side. We're going to see what he got out of the random build a pack box. Okay, we get an essence scatter. Hey, 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 right out of the back, he wins some extra. This right here means he gets another standard booster pack opened up. All right, so we'll put that off to the side. We then got a Zarichi Tiger. I love this thing in foil. We got a Woodlot Crawler. Spell Rupture. 
Telja Jalad Defiance, Gollum's Heart, Illusionary Wrappings, Slyvok Replica, let me get back in center here, and a Ret Crop Spearma uh, yeah, Spearmaster. All right, rock on. All right, we'll put the, those off to the side. You get those. Let's see what we got for the random foil. Random foil is a Flayer of the Hatebound. Okay, well, that's a rare, too. I, I don't remember if that was the promo for that or if that's just a pack foil, but you got that guy. Random Uncommon is... Ooh, Goblin Matron. That's actually not a bad one right there. And then for rares, let's see what you got. You got a Herald of Secret Streams. Dun, 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 dun. And the last one is an Oracle's Vault. All right. Now, unfortunately, I did not come prepared for this. Um, so give me a quick second. Uh, I'm going to grab a pack of Standard because uh, I actually... Uh, yeah, forgot that we had those in the box. So give me one quick second. I'm going to grab a pack of standard. Do, 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 do. Don't mind the empty screen. Da, 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 da. Bust in my closet of sealed stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry about that, folks. Um, Alright, so we got, uh, I grabbed another pack of Dominaria here. So, this is the one you just won. We'll go ahead and crack this open, see what we got. All right. We got Excavation Elephant, uh, Homerid Explorer, Grow from the Ashes, Skittering Surveyor, Academy Drake, Seismic Shift, Voltaic Servant, Eviscerate, love that card, uh, Partic Wanderer, Lingering Phantom, that's actually not bad at all. Uh, Zalfarin Void, that's good. Lich's Mastery, a Foil, Slinvada the Rising Deep, and a Tatyava ben Benthic Druid, Goblin and the Land. All right. Tell you what, you're not doing too shabby so far. Now let's go for the pack of standard that came with it. Not the extra one that you want. Can't believe first patron video, and uh, I think we have four of the well, now three of those in that box. We'll add more here soon, though. Healing Grace, Deep Freeze, Fervent Strike, Cross and Druid, Feral Abomination, Cabal Evangel, Avon Sentry, Skittering Surveyor, Primordial Worm, Academy Drink, Wizard's Lightning, Memorial to Glory, and we got a Woodland Cemetery, rock on, and then a Slin Vada the Rising Deep. We got two of that guy now, but one is certainly more shiny than the other. Okay, now, what do we do? Should we do the Invasion Pack next? Yeah, we're going to save this bad boy for the very end. We're going to go ahead and crack his booster back box. Now, in the, the name of time, we are going to... Um, kind of skip through this we will take a look at the uh, the uncommons and whatnot uh, but we're not going to look at the commons and we're going to try to hurry through the uh, or excuse me we're not going to look at the commons we're going to try to hurry through the uncommons there we go i think i said that right i don't know words are so weird english is bad all right let's go ahead and start cracking these bad boys open um and once again uh, if you can check out Marcus's channel, Exotic MTG, that would just be awesome. I said, I think you're going to like it. Um, we do have a few shout outs in this video. Um, this first pack is being dedicated to a Ryan James Cook. This pack is being dedicated to you, sir. Let's go ahead and see what we got. You know what? I'll tell you what. The dedicated packs here, because you've got a couple, we're going to go ahead and slow roll through the uh, comments too, just so each person can see what they got. Or what is being dedicated to them, I guess, is more of a proper way to put it. Rat Colony, not bad stuff right there. Not bad stuff. All right, we got Urza's Tome. We got a Settle the Score. Benelish Marshall, that's not bad. And then a Garna of uh, the Blood Flame. This card is, this card is bonkers, okay? I almost think Uncommon is too good for this card. 
honestly. Um, and then a land uh, planes and a sapper line. But we are gonna separate those these though because that's just how we do. All right, next one up. This is dedicated to Rudy Rodriguez. So we're going to slow roll this a little bit just so you can see another rat colony. Nice. Unwind. Another good one. We got Sarah Angel. Curator's Ward. Four Bears Blade. This thing did work at pre release. And. Oh, we got Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. I just love saying the name of that card, if nothing else. All right, last but not least, this goes out to Sean M. M. Collins. I hope that's Sean and not Jin because I can't read my own handwriting. It is horrible. I believe it's Sean, though. Syncopate, not bad. Oh. All right. Memorial to Unity. Final parting. Black Blade Reforged, and we got a Raf Capuchin Ships Mage. All right, those are for the shout out packs. To those of the you that were named, we salute you. Right, now we're going to start busting out the rest of the packs here. For this, we're going to actually skip over all this stuff and just kind of zap from Void. That's not bad. Yogmoth Vile Offering. That's a good card. And Whisper Blood Liturgist. Oop, too far, too far. Alright, Fungal Plots, not bad. Fire Fist, Curator's Ward, Foil, Phallid Soothsayer, not too shabby. Starting our pile here. And we got Evra, uh, High Halcyon. Halcyon? She's a witness of something. I, I think that should be rated better. I just... I realize she's not going to be that good until late game or, you know, mid game at best, but still, it seems like a good card. Fire Fist Adept, Orcish Vandal, Lich's Mastery, and winner, winner, chicken dinner. You got yourself a foil hinterland harbor. You're welcome, sir. Donthea, Cashman Paragon. Tell you what, I I'm going to. I'll be honest, I am very excited uh, that I get to open good stuff for patrons. Um, you know, someone asked me the other day, because, you know, now I essentially, I buy my stuff by the case, uh, just because of how much we open. Um, and someone said, you know, what if, you know, because every, typically, out of every box, you're going to have four okay or dud boxes, and then uh, one or two really good boxes, and then possibly one just rock and box what happens if you give that rock and box away to one of your patrons awesome because then more people are going to want to sign up because they see that i draw good stuff or i open good stuff so anyways dauntless bodyguard that's pretty good thorn elemental cliff trap retreat and a valduck keeper of the flame that guy's good stuff right there good stuff so yeah i, I do want to thank uh, Marcus and Exotic MTG for being our first big patron. He's not our first patron. We're going to have a special little shout out to our first patron. But um, still, thank you very much. Awesome sauce. Icy Manipulator. On Sarah, Sierra's Wings. Sarah's Wings. Man, I still can't. That card's been around for, or Sarah's been around for 23, 24 years, and I still mispronounce it. Daring Archaeologist with a Slim Vada the Rising deep tell you what you are gonna be able to you got a lot of that dude unfortunately he, he is legendary so can't have too many out unless you have one of those things that let legendaries kind of chill next to each other we got sarah angel sage of lotnam tempest de Jin, and we got ourselves a baird stewart of argive All right, what do we got here? Do my best to keep this video slightly shorter than the last one, which was half an hour. I apologize. Uh, we got Triumph of Gerard. We've got Orcish Vandal. And we've got a Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. And a 
foil Mishra's self replicator. Two foil rares in one box, and we're not even done with the first stack. Marcus, doing good, my man. Ergaros, the empty one, was the uh, the legendary slot taker in that pack. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. We got Shizik, Juggernaut, Hinterland Harbor, and a Tetsuko. This card, so good. So good. All right. We got Song of the Frailies. 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 The Flame of Keld, Steel Leaf Champion, and a Foil Forest. Tell you what, this your box is turning out to be halfway decent, sir. We are now on to that second stack. Let's see what kind of other wonderful stuff we can pull out of here for Marcus. We got Untamed Kivu, Sanctum Spirit, Precognition Field with a, hey, Slimefoot the Stowaway. I heard he's kind of good right now. Some people are looking for him because it's a good card. All right. We got another Untamed Kavu. We got Settle the Score, Clifftop Retreat, and Groon, the Lonely King, Mr. Kong himself. We got a Chainer's Torment. We got Howling Golem. We got Oath of Tefiri. And then we got Tiana, Ship's Caretaker. All right. Oh, I think we got a foil back there. We do. I see shiny. We got a Chainer's Torment. We got a Diligent Excavator, Siege Game, Com Siege Gang Commander, and a Foil Hummerid Explorer, along with uh, Shana Sissy's Legacy. So we're gonna go ahead and move this stuff over just a wee bit. Make some room. Alright, he Goblin War Chief. Let's straighten this pile up a little bit. We got Board the Weatherlight, uh, Kamal's Druidic Vow, and Halar the Fire Fletcher. And I hit the camera. I apologize, folks. Icy Manipulator. We got Thalid Soothsayer, Mishra Self Replicator, and then I Garna the Blood Flame. Another, yeah, same one that I just think is bonkers, absolutely bonkers at uncommon. I mean, yeah, she's five mana, but still, that's that's just good stuff. We got another Icy Manipulator, Nature Spiral, uh, Memorial to War, and oh, we got a Foil Wing Grace Acolyte, and then oh. Teshar, Ancestor's Apostle. That's kind of a good one right now. Alrighty. Nature Spiral. Memorial to Genius. Thorn Elemental. And we get a Jota, Archmage Eternal. Jota's my dude. I like that guy. All right, we got Lingering Phantom, Zalfrin, Zalfrin Void, another Mythic, Daragaz Reincarnated, and a Foil uh, Elfame Druid, and then uh, Rana, is it Rana or Rona? I think it's Rana, Disciple of Gix. Tell you what, where? I know I got Foils here. There's one Mythic. Didn't we pull another mythic? Did I just put it in this pile? Is that what I did? I sure did. All right, two mythics so far. Two mythics. Here, there we go. Now we're thinking with power. Okay. All right, what do we got here? We got another Shizik. We got a Merfolk Trickster. Uh, the Miari. Marari? Mirari Conjecture. I don't even know. 
Uh, and then we get Quendi, Pride of Femoreth. Yeah, there are times that I think they name some of these cards in ways that are just like, how can we tongue twist people the most? Especially the not so bright ones. We got Fight with Fire, Wild Onslaught, Seal Away, and uh, Torgar, Famine Incarnate. The last pack of that second stack. We got Urza's Tome, Warcry Phoenix, uh, Giora's Familiar, and we got Traxo Scourge of Krug. That card. That card destroyed me in pre release. It was bad. All right, well, this is the first pack of that third stack, so two thirds of the way through the box. Start off pretty strong, and now we're fading just a wee bit. All right, we got Cast Down, that's not bad. Sarah Angel, Spore Crown Thalid, and Naban, Dean of Iteration. We got another Cast Down on Sarah's Wings, Sulphur Falls, and then we got a Foil Siobhan Fire, and then our Legendary is... Baird Stewart of Argive. We got Wizard's Retort, Memorial to Glory, a Woodland Cemetery, and an Arvad the Cursed. Yeah, we're due to hit another mythic here soon. We got Wizard's Retort, Dampening Sphere. There you go, is your first one there. And then we did it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You got yourself a Karn, Scion of Ugin. And then you got yourself another Slin Vada, Sl yeah, Slin Vada, The Rising Deep. That pack was not too shabby. All right, we got an Icy Manipulator, Memorial to Folly, Goblin Barrage, and Ariel Knight of Windgrace. All right, we still need to hit one more Mythic to kind of hit the quota of four per box. Although, as we've seen in other videos, that's not always true. We got Memorial of to Folly, Fungal Plots, Gay is Blessing, and Kazarov. Shingir Pure Blood. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Can we do it? Can we pull that forth? We got Nature Spiral, Shield of the Realm. There's an our mythic, Moldathra, the Grave Tide. And then Quendi, Pride of Femrev. Well, we've hit the quota, but one more Mythic would not hurt. Triumph of Gerard, Gaia's Blessing, Sylvan Awakening, that's not a bad card. And then Shana Sissy's Legacy. I keep saying Sissy, it's Sissy. Sissy's Legacy. All right, Memorial to Genius, Sanctum Spirit. Dreadshade, and we got another Arvad the Cursed. Three packs left. We got Lingering Phantom, Shield of the Realm, Goblin Chain Whirler, and uh, Adelaz, or Adelaz, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's one of those two. Cinder of Wind, or the Cinder Wind, there we go. Yikes. All right, two packs left. Song of the Freelies, Freelies, uh, Sage of Latinam, Haphazard Bombardment, and then we got a Tatyava Benthic Druid. Last pack, what can we get here? What can we get? 
Fight Fire, or Fight with Fire, Knight of Malice, Wild Onslaught, and the last one, we got a Mythic, we got Demon Lord Belzenlock. This card, while it's not worth a whole lot, can do some serious work. It really can. Um, I enjoyed the heck out of this at pre-release. So we did hit a fifth Mythic, not too shabby. We're going to go ahead and put this stuff off to the side. Not like that, though. There we go. Now we're thinking with power. So we're going to recap your rares here. Haphazard Bombardment, Chain Whirler, Dread Shade, Sylvan Awakening, Singir Pure Blood, Knight of Wind Graced, Woodland Cemetery, Sulphur Falls, uh, Dream of Iteration, Traxos, uh, Torgar, Conjecture, Eternal, I think actually that's more something. Uh, the self, I'm getting way off camera here. I'm sorry, folks. Um, self replicator, druidic vow. Oop, and I hit the camera again. I'm so sorry, folks. I'm experimenting yet again with a new camera angle. So, siege gang commander, oath of Teferi, clifftop retreat, precognition field, steel leaf champion. That's still, he's like five or six bucks. Hinterland harbor, tempest of Jin, daring archaeologist, cliff trap, top retreat, lich's mastery. Evra, Yogmoth's Vile Offering, good stuff right there. Black Blade Reforged, Forebearers, Blade, and Benelish, or yeah, Benelish uh, Marshall. So, we got, did you get all of them? Uh, yeah. Nope, nope, we're missing one. I think we are missing one. Which one are we missing? We get two cliff trap retreats. I believe there, yeah, I believe there's one more, but I don't know what it is. But so you got those mythics. Uh, you got Demon Lord. You will got Moldroth. Moldrotha. I think that's still eight or ten bucks. Karn. Tefiri, and then the uh, Legend Dragon for foils. You got Shivan Fire, Elfane Druid. Uh, Windgrace Acolyte. No, oh, okay, I thought that card was damaged, it's not. Hamarid Explorer, uh, a forest. Huh, okay, well, it uh, looks like my camera stopped recording, so I'm going to take a quick second <laughs> and, and, and pause this and see where it stopped. Um, yeah, my, my camera that I record the packs on is not recording anymore. So uh, tell you, I'm just going to, never mind, we're not even going to stop. I'm just going to uh, hit record again, and then hopefully, uh, uh, you know, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and recap what we just went through. Um, so the foils, we got Tefiri, Karn, uh, Maldratha. Demon Lord Benzlock, we got the all but one of the lands, and then we got a Foil Forest, uh, Foil Mishra's Self-Replicator, Foil, Foil Hinterland Harbor, and uh, Thalid Soothsayer. So that's not too shabby there. Um, I don't know why that camera stopped. Uh, for whatever reason, my equipment has been giving me nothing but troubles here lately. But uh, we are now going to move on to the Invasion Pack. Uh, this is, uh, with the tier that he's on, uh, aside from everything else that you saw opened, um, you get to choose uh, an older, non-standard pack to be opened. And then you get the contents of it. And this was his choice. So, um... I honestly, I couldn't tell you values of stuff right now, but uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go. We got a Curian Sentinel. We got a Sulfur Vent. Uh, that seems like it's something. We got a Prison Barricade. Exotic Curse. We got Shackles. Ancient Kavu. We just saw one of those. Well, not Ancient Kavu, but we got Armadillo Cloak. That's not bad. Repulse. That's not bad. Whip Silk. Urborg Phantom. Ooh, we got an Assault and Battery. We got ourselves a Trench Worm. 
we got a pain and suffering. Last one. Yogmoth's agenda. Oh, there's a shiny back there. There is a shiny back there. What is it? Oh, you got a planes. All right, look at that. You got yourselves. Um, I'm gonna get take a shot in the dark that um, the foil basics from these sets are probably not insanely cheap. Um, mainly because I don't know if you recognize this art, but you'll find this art um, on another more recent kind of sought after art. Um, mainly because if you look at the bottom here. Look at that artist, if it'll focus. John Avon. That is a foil John Avon art. Well, congratulations, sir. I don't know about Yawgmoth's agenda, but that right there is just all sorts of sexy. So congratulations. Um, I think we did rather good here. Um, so, yeah, once again, I want to thank Marcus. Uh, for signing up with us on Patreon. We greatly appreciate the support. And this is going to help us get more stuff for the channel, more things to open, better equipment that doesn't stop recording um, on its own whim. That's going to be a bonus. Um, but anywho, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Do me a favor, check out Exotic MTG. Like I said, there's going to be a link down in the description. Check them out. I guarantee you're going to like it. Um, if you liked what you saw here today, do us a huge favor, click that like button, hit subscribe, be sure to hit the bell notification so you can tell when we get new episodes up, and be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Also, don't forget to check out our Patreon page. We've got a link down in the description. Um, it goes all the way from a dollar all the way up to the tier that Marcus chose here today. Um, lots of good stuff in there. Thank you all once again very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do me one last huge favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.